In this video, we'll walk through how to set up your default reply for a mini chatbot and demonstrate the best way to use it for your business. The default reply is your bot's backup response for when a user provides an input that your bot can't recognize. What we're gonna do now is set up the default reply for an e-commerce business called Fletcher Goods. From here on the mini chat dashboard, we'll head through the menus to default reply. By default, every new mini chat account has a generic default reply in place, and generally it does a pretty good job. But for this application, we're gonna change it up a little bit, add a little humor. Ours is going to say, I didn't quite understand what you meant there. Uh, to reach out to a person, please tap the talk to human button below. I'm gonna add in this weird picture of a robot's head. Uh, she kind of looks disgruntled when she animates, and that's how I imagine this bot's gonna feel when it encounters just a message it does not grasp. When our users tap the talk to human button, it's gonna trigger an action which marks the conversation is open. Uh, you'll see the little counter over by live chat increase by one. We're also gonna use a pro feature that will notify the admins of this particular mini chat account via messenger and email. Then we'll change the success field over here, the separate text box to something a little different. Once everything's set and done, hit publish in the upper right corner. To test the default reply in the live version, we'll type in a phrase or word that the bot has no way of understanding, and then it will reply automatically. Oh, there's our ugly robot, it's working. So just to recap, the default reply is the bot's backup response for when the user provides an input that the bot doesn't recognize. So, all right, go out there, set this up on your own bots, have fun, thanks.